Hello friends, this video on electrochemistry part 32 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Battery is dry cell, which we use in our life. The mechanism is almost similar to like Lance cell, but it is a little compact. If you see the like Lance cell, we, we have this MnO2 here. Here we had this carbon, here we had this zinc, and here we had this NH4Cl. Correct. Same thing, this MnO2 here we have, this carbon will have here, right? The whole body will be of zinc and we'll have this is as nothing but NH4Cl. The green one here is NH4Cl. So we have the same component, you see, we have, but the setup is a little different. Here we have also the porous pot we have. Everything is same. Right? It has zinc container, the whole container, and zinc container itself will act as anode here. This will have a negative charge, and this will have a positive charge. So this zinc container itself here will get a negative charge because this zinc itself is a negative charge. Right here we had this is negative, this is positive. Same thing, same thing here. If you see, carbon gets a positive charge, zinc gets negative charge. Right. And here also we use carbon rod, that's a graphite rod actually. And this is again MnO2 and carbon, again acting as anti-polarizing agent. Right? And this, this space is filled with a moist paste of ammonium chloride and little bit of zinc chloride also, NH4Cl and ZnCl2 paste. Anyway, ZnCl2 we will be forming, right? The moment the reaction happens, we'll see that ZnCl2 is formed. So that will come, even if you don't keep it, put it, it will come in due course of time, right? Here my NH4Cl is the electrolyte, again carbon and zinc is my uh, electrode similar to this. Same reaction, NH4Cl is a strong electrolyte, it becomes NH4 plus and Cl minus, this Cl minus, so I have NH4, NH4 plus and Cl minus. This Cl minus will react with zinc, right? It Cl minus will react with zinc to form ZnCl2 and two electrons. Oxidation is happening, right? So with this zinc gets negative charge, lot of electrons here. So once you once you connect with this circuit, the electron flows from here to here. Carbon also gets electron. Now carbon has got the electron now from the circuit, external circuit. This NH4 which we have got here, in this NH4 will react with this carbon which, because it has electron to give NH3 plus hydrogen gas. And this hydrogen gas it will be now used by this polarizer, this MnO2 to form water and Mn2O3. Correct? So that is a very simple reaction and for this uh, the, the potential is 1.5 volt. Now, since it has paste actually, it has paste here. Now, if you see, we are talking about NH4Cl and NH4Cl paste. Since it is paste, it is not aqueous uh, solution, it is a paste. Thus, if you see, the concentration is almost 1 molar. Correct? Thus, since the concentration is 1, the voltage will not drop. As per an honest equation we have seen, right? E is equal to E naught minus um, 2.303 N RT by NF ln of Q, right? So this will also become 1, so this whole thing will become 0. So the voltage will not drop because Q is nothing but the concentration of, I mean the whole solution you would take, concentration of product by reactant. Since this is in paste form, the concentration is almost 1, so the voltage will not drop for this kind of cell. It's almost, almost always 1.5 volt. So next type of cell we'll learn is the mercury cell. They are very small in size, very small in size and they're usually used in the device like hearing aids, they're used in the watches or sometimes in the toys also. They're very, very small cells. They're very low current device, very low current device. They are mercury cells, generally used in watch. 
So if you see this part is my anode, the yellow part is my cathode and the green is a separator. Right? So for anode, actually my zinc and mercury amalgam is used for anode. For cathode, HGO and carbon is used for cathode. And electrolyte here is my KOH and ZNO paste. That is my electrolyte. Correct. So if you see the reaction at anode, anode I have zinc and mercury uh, amalgam, right? So you take this ZN HG amalgam actually, it react with HGO that is solid to bring ZNO plus HG. something wrong here see at anode what will happen oxidation will happen so this is zinc it will get oxidized to zn plus 2 right so let me write, write the reaction so i have zinc in amalgam form let's suppose zinc solid it will take it will become zn plus 2 right how it will become it will take some 2 OH minus from the paste because the paste has some OH minus, correct? It will become Zn OH2 and it will give two electrons. So, if you see, this is nothing but zinc with the zero charge, zinc with a positive charge. This oxidation happened. If you talk about reduction, then that will happen at cathode, yellow area. So, my HGO I have used here so it will react with water that is also in the paste and it will take two electrons it will form Hg in the liquid form and 2OH minus it will go back to the paste and the same 2OH minus will be used here correct so if you see the overall reaction if you add these two reaction see the overall reaction I have zinc that is in solid state then it reacts with HgO that is also solid it makes zinc oxide that is also solid plus Hg that is in liquid and if you see there is no iron in the solution right it's all the paste form and it has a voltage of almost 1.35 volt and this can be used for a longer period of time I hope you understand the reaction Zinc is oxidized to Zn plus 2 at anode and cathode Hg plus 2 is reduced to Hg. The next, thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.